geometrically aligned. And symmetricized. I just made that word up. <laughs> but you know what it means. <laughs> to make things symmetrical. To make things parallel. To make things relate. To make things connect. To make contact. These are the ideas. These are the governing principles. And it's these governing principles that that govern the way that we live, just like the laws of nature, just like thermodynamics and um, you know the, the atomic theory and Newtonian laws drawn from observations of a consistent universe a universe that is obeying these laws what force set those laws what force determined what the speed of light's going to be I don't know. And it's beyond conception. It's beyond imagining. One could argue that to even try to synthesize it into a single figure is to uh, commit a crime because there's no way that all of that could be can be distilled into a single word, a single idea. It's beyond that. It's beyond the singularity. Because the singularity is drawn from our capacity to conceive, our, our, our ability to think. Whatever's beyond this. a lot of words <laughs> because we have a lot of knowledge we don't need simplistic stories we can put together a scientific understanding that venerates and uh, is cognizant and aware and dutiful in showing gratitude for all the religious discipline and habit and devotion has contributed to the development and flourishing of human civilization that made the knowledge that would eventually hurt the institution because the hierarchy refused Reserve the right to change its mind. It backed itself into a corner. If you want to take that authority, you want to organize that authority and that power over the governed. Thus, you claim a divine right. You claim that which is invisible. And then you use that to justify the imposition of power, the imposition of brutality, cruelty. Or you recognize that you don't have all the answers, which impinges upon your citing the divine absolute knowledge of everything absolute certainty is what you have absolute power
That's got to feel so good when you can feel that. That, that, that's incredible that human, the human mind can perceive that level of singularity. How awesome are we as animals? How awesome is the mind such that it can delude itself that way? But a lot of that's just biological structures that just have to take for the, that's the way that the eyes and the visual cortex processes information we know it's inconsistent with reality but that's what magic eye experiments are so the reason they work is the because of the way that the, the photons pass through the retinas and activates the rods and cones which changes the types of electrical signals you know and, and the arrangement of photons that are being reflected is the world that we see and it's accurate so accurate that once we get out in it the things are where the mind thinks they are I see the book there's the book I can see the tree there's the tree I can see the phone there it is now Sometimes, with the phone, you get the force of gravity pulling on it. So you get this tactile awakening. <laughs> and what if you're trying to analyze uh, the communication that you've just received, which is a burst of uh, radio frequencies that are invisible, but there's a little antenna in here, <laughs> or in the phone, they can and then command these electrical signals to be replicated. <laughs> mm. Mm. Have you noticed how I'm changing my my seating structure? At one time, I had my foot behind me. Mm. contact then you come off contact and do the same movement these meridians can be shared these planes can relate. Whatever you use to get to that point, use the opposite. To achieve the same shape on the other side of your body. All the while, you're inhaling completely, which is developing your body in accord with your DNA design. The magic about the human life is that when we breathe in accord with our design, that it's synergistic. And that's why we're such a, a capable species. The impact of a postural return to breath-centric training. <laughs> I think can revolutionize the mood of the country, the mood of the human race. I said because I'm dying of brain cancer. On two occasions, I've had surgery. I have been reborn twice. This is my third life. And my surgeon, his name Dunn, this is a mission. This should be all of our missions 
and you are fulfilling your mission right now by watching. You, you are fulfilling the perfection of this mission by watching. Now to make it a more perfect connection, to make it a more perfect union, that's for you to use it, to study it, to go into it, and then to teach somebody else. And for us to make it literally go viral because the, the system itself can be used without the youth in this. They just make it more perfect. Ignorance of these postures and these movements is still a form of perfection. But to analyze and to mimic and imitate these postures that are enhancatory, that are synergistic, is the first step in our transformation, our actualization of the essence of us and that comes from equalizing with the source of gravity with the force of gravity with the source of the solar system align with that there's a reason why sun salutations were, were have been done throughout history there's so much research coming out about the importance of early morning exposure, sun salutations. You're saluting the sun. Do it bilaterally. Do it with all of these different postures. Do it with complete breathing. Do it in this. I'm coming back through these centers. It's like there are these tracks and these highways and interchanges and junctions. And there are, we call them plexuses, plexi. They're where the nerves join. From the arm, from your legs, from the organs. Everything feeds in to some system that eventually gets here and to which this is sending some signal. This is how I should have been 20 years ago, 25 years. 30 years ago, I should have been nasal breathing with my arms out, floating, not back. I went too far. I, now, it, arms, you know, shoulders back. You need to be standing in such a way that everything's activated evenly. Stand balanced. Stand with your shoulders balanced in a neutral position and then force them together. Then pull them back. Breathe completely and any posture is a good one. <laughs> any posture is, is, is beneficial. See, here I'm resting it on my knee. I was resting it on my backside a minute ago. This is another way of coming back from an injury, from acquiring the sensitivity 